I'm at a park shooting across from a couple of baseball fields. That building I'm trying not to shine in the window of is on the other side of a river. Those trees I'm illuminating are up a hill. That's the top of the ridge there. Those are second growth. Those are huge Douglas fir trees up there. You can see the top of them. Give you an idea of how far away we are. Those are like mammoth Doug firs over there. Got to be at least seventy five to eighty feet tall, if not taller. This is like I say, shooting all the way across from what's uh well I'll try to find a map of it, show you where I'm sitting. This is just amazing. pinpoint accuracy you can see that I'm following the ridge line over here illuminating the tops and I've got the auto exposure locked on this so you're getting a pretty accurate look at just how it looks to me I mean if anything, this isn't doing it justice. I'm going to see if I can find a place back a little ways further where I don't have light interfering. That's after uh, about five minutes of use. That's the temperature. And the percentage went from, it's about 98, 99 down to 91, which you see. Very stable temperature. That line of trees is a half mile, just shy of a half mile. It was well right on the button. You can see the individual tops of those full grown Doug firs. That one there is about half the distance. Those aren't small trees. I'm at the top of the hill. These you're looking at the tops. Those are down down a hill from me. So we're just looking at the tops. Let's see if I can zoom in.
There we go. You can see I'm illuminating clusters of full-grown Douglas fir trees out there. try to get that on a map for you so you can get an idea. So about 10 minutes of use, 86% still left. And the temperature, 27 centigrade, it's just barely even warm to the touch. Pretty amazing little flashlight. I'm just, I'm just in awe of this little flashlight, I have to tell you.